Hello everyone. So I have worked on a project in which I made a simple map navigator using the Gistra algorithm or the shortest path finding algorithm to find the shortest path between two points. So uh, the introduction is basically that in our daily life, we commonly face problems in finding a path which uh, is a shorter and easier to reach our destination. And people usually explore every possible solution in finding their way within the place, but not every solution can produce the optimal path. Shortest path problem is to find the fastest route from a directed graph. This navigating system is used to uh, find the shortest path from one place to another within a place. So, and uh, the problem statement about this is that there are many other navigation systems and some of them cannot find the optimal path and some of them can and people uh, usually prefer to find a shortest path so that they could reach their destination easily and faster and so a reliable and precise guidance system is needed therefore a navigation system will be a really great choice to find the optimal path within the place the features that we included in this are a function to find the vertex within a minimum distance value and a function to print the path from source to a given vertex and a function to print the final shortest path distances and a function to implement the Gistra algorithm. And here uh, we used data structures like arrays to store the distance from source vertex to all the other vertexes in the graph. And we have used an array of Boolean values to keep track of the vertex uh, if it is included in the shortest path tree or not. And an array to store the parent vertices in the shortest path from the source vertex to all the other vertices. And uh, we have used adjacency matrix to uh, hold the information about the edges and their weights between vert vertices. An adjacency matrix, it will represent the weighted graph and we have used variables like minimum and minimum index to find the vertex with the uh, minimum distance in the minimum distance function. So this code uses the data structures to perform this digital algorithm on the provided graph to keep track of these distances, visited vertices and parent vertices in order to find the shortest paths from source to vertex to all the other vertices in the graph. So here in this project, we have chosen this graph as an example to find the shortest path between all these points. So in the first step, uh, so here, the adjacent vertices of 0 are 1 and 7, and the distance values of uh, 1 and 7 are updated as 4 and 8. So the following graph uh, shows vertices and their distance values. Only the vertices with finite distance values are shown and the vertices included are shown in green color. So from zero, uh, we pick the vertex with minimum distance and not already included in shortest path tree set. And vertex one is picked first as it has a minimum distance than compared to vertex seven. So now we have picked zero and one. So in the next step, we move to pick the minimum distance value which is not already included so here from 0 to 7 uh, now the uh, set becomes 0 1 and 7 and then we move to pick another one which is not already included in the shortest pass 3 so uh, from 0 to distance values of adjacent vertices of 6 uh, would be 5 and 8 and we will repeat the same thing until all the vertices are included. And as we can see in the last graph, these are all the vertices that are included to uh, get the shortest distance from uh, one vertex to another vertex. So here is the C code of uh, this project. So first, so 
we have taken all the header files and we have defined the number of vertices of this graph. So uh, we only chose nine vertices and the first step of this code is to create a function to find the vertex with minimum distance value. So in this function, in this function we have created array the IST to store the values of the distance from vertex. So it takes two arrays as parameter, the IST to store distance from source and SPT set for tracking if vertex is included in the shortest path three or not, it is a Boolean array. And this function iterates to all the vertices and checks if they are not in the shortest path three and if the distance is less than the current minimum distance and it returns the index uh, of the vertex with the minimum distance. The second function is to print the path from source to given vertex. This function is a recursive utility function used to print the path from the source to a given vertex. It takes two parameters, parent for tracking the parent of each vertex and j for the current vertex. It prints the path from the source to the current vertex by recursively calling itself to print the path from the parent of the current vertex. And the next function is to print the final shortest path distances. So uh, this function is used to print the final shortest path from source to all the other vertices. It takes three arrays as parameters, distance for uh, distance from the source, parent for parent vertices, and SRC for source vertex. It iterates through all vertices printing the distance from the source and the path to them by calling the print path function. And then we have a, a function to implement the Digistra algorithm. This is the main implementation of the Digistra algorithm. It takes an adjacency matrix called graph and the source vertex called SRC as parameters. It initializes arrays distance to store the distances from the source and SPT set to track whether vertices are in the shortest path three and parent to track all the parent vertices. It iteratively finds the vertex with the minimum distance from the source using min, uh, min distance function to add it to the shortest path three. It updates the distances for adjacent vertices if a shorter path is found through the selected vertex. Finally, it calls the print solution to print the shortest path distances and paths from the sources to all the vertices. And in the main function, uh, this is the entry point of the program and it defines an adjacency matrix called graph representing the graph with edge weights. It specifies the stores vertex. It calls the register function to perform the register algorithm on the graph. The result is printed showing the shortest path distances and paths from source to vertex to all the other vertices. This code demonstrates the digital algorithm for finding the shortest path in a weighted graph with a given source vertex. So this is the C code implementation of the digital algorithm. And we also have Python implementation of this code. So here, uh, the code, okay. So here the code begins by importing the sys module, which is used to initialize max size constant and also represent infinity distances in the graph. And uh, V is a constant that represents the number of vertices in the graph. And here we took uh, nine vertices. And in minimum distance function, this function finds the vertex with minimum distance from the source. It takes two lists as parameters, distance for storing the distances from the point. It takes two lists as parameters, DIST for storing the distance from source and SPTC, SPT set for tracking if a vertex is included in the shortest path tree, which is a Boolean list. And it iterates to all the vertices and checks if they're not in the shortest path three and if their distance is less than the current minimum. It returns the index of the vertex with the minimum distance. And then we have print path function, which is a recursive utility function to print the path from source to a given vertex. It takes two parameters, parent for tracking the parent and j for the current vertex. 
it prints the path from source to the current vertex by recursively calling itself to print the path from the parent of the current vertex. And then we have print solution function, which is used to print the final short path distances and paths from the source to all the other vertices. It takes three lists as parameters, distance for distances from the source parent for the parent vertices and SRC for the source vertex. And it iterates through all the vertices, printing their distance from the source and the path to them by calling the print path function. And the main implementation is the digista function. And it takes an adjacency matrix called graph as a source vertex and source as parameters. It initializes distance to store the distances and SPT set to track whether vertices are in shortest path three and the parent to track parent vertices it sets the distance of the source vertex to zero and it iteratively finds the vertex which the minimum distance from the source using minimum distance function and adds it to the shortest path tree. It updates the distances for adjacent vertices if a shortest path is found. And finally, it calls the print solution to print the shortest path. And then we check if the script is being run as the main program. And it defines the adjacency matrix as graph, representing the graph with edge weights, and it specifies the source vertex, and it calls the digista function to perform digista algorithm on the graph. So here's the output of this code, and the vertex represents the destination vertex, and distance from source indicates the shortest distance from the source vertex to the destination vertex, and path is the path from source to destination vertex, which is printed as the sequences of vertices. So here vertex zero represents the source of the vertex itself and the distance is zero and the path is just the vertex itself. Vertex one has a distance of four and the path is zero to one indicating that the shortest path from zero vertex to vertex one is through a direct edge from zero to one and vertex two has a distance of 12 and the path is zero to one to two indicating that the shortest path from vertex zero to vertex two through uh, what is a zero and one so it continues in a similar uh, format for all the vertices showing their respective shortest distances and paths from the source on to the time complexity of the digista algorithm implementation and the provided code is a uh, big o of v square where v is the number of vertices in the graph and this is because it uses an adjacency matrix to represent the graph and it iterates over all the vertices to find minimum distance vertex in each step. So firstly, the outer loop and register function runs for V iterations because it processes all vertices. And then the inner loop within the same function also runs for V iterations because it checks each vertex to update distances. Within the inner loop, finding the minimum distance vertex takes big O of V time. So the total complexity of this is big O of V square for this code. If you were to implement digital algorithm in some other data structure as priority queue, time complexity could be reduced for dense graphs. So finally, digital algorithm is backbone of every navigation systems, even Google Maps is a typical application of alg this algorithm and this navigation, uh, and this navigation system is very prevalent and it helps people finding the shortest path from one point to another point, such as a university campus. Uh, finding the shortest path from the origin to destination cannot be performed by all the uh, services available. And this algorithm is to optimize the routes in a place so the user can get the shortest route from a point distance 